Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. In this video, I'm going to review the top 10 sources of sodium in the American diet. What some people call the standard American diet is a high sodium, low potassium diet. The main reason is Americans love of prepared foods. About 60% of the American diet is prepared foods. Prepared foods include fast food, restaurant meals, store deli foods, frozen foods, and packaged foods. According to the CDC, 10 food types account for more than 40% of the sodium in the American diet. There are two types of sodium, naturally occurring and added. Naturally occurring sodium, like the sodium in these beetroots and glass of milk, are not the problem. The problem is sodium added to foods, like in this deli turkey breast and breakfast biscuit. Salt is not the only source of sodium. Two popular sources of sodium available for home use are monosodium glutamate and baking soda. Even prepared desserts and dessert recipes have added salt. The rationale for adding salt is to increase sweetness. Many desserts are already too sweet and have sodium from salted butter, baking powder, and baking soda. Even prepared frosting that is primarily sugar has added salt. Until recently, Americans were told to limit sodium to either 2300 or 1500 milligrams per day. These limits applied regardless to how many calories your body needed. More calories means more food, making it more difficult to limit the amount of sodium in your diet. Current guidelines recommend limiting sodium to 2300 milligrams per day, about one teaspoon, and ideally 1500 milligrams per day. Again, these are simply guidelines. The 1500 milligram per day limit does not apply to people who lose sodium through perspiration or are under a doctor's care. You probably read or heard about researchers warning against eating too little sodium, that a very low sodium diet could increase your risk of a heart attack or stroke. According to the American Heart Association, the human body needs about 500 milligrams of sodium per day. On average, Americans consume about 3,400 milligrams of sodium per day. Some Americans average 5,000 milligrams per day or more. A high sodium diet and sodium sensitivity can increase the risk of developing high blood pressure at an early age. Reducing sodium in your diet doesn't mean giving up the foods you love. This fast food cheeseburger has about 1200 milligrams of sodium. A homemade guacamole cheeseburger about the same weight has over 50% less sodium. Next is the top 10 sources of sodium in the American diet. At number 10, eggs and omelets. One large egg has about 70 milligrams of sodium. Take that egg, add ham, cheese, and a croissant for almost 1,100 milligrams of sodium. Take three eggs and you can turn it into an omelet with 1,500 milligrams of sodium without the sides. Or you could take two eggs, ham, cheese, English muffin, and jam for a meal with 900 milligrams of sodium. Number nine is cheese. Cheese obtains most of its flavor from added salt. While cheese adds sodium to sandwiches and pasta dishes, the main source of added sodium in cheese is pizza. Pizza makers just can't seem to give Americans enough cheese. And why not? Cheese is supported by your tax dollars. At number eight is chicken. And we're not talking about chicken with added sodium. Fresh chicken has about 60 milligrams of sodium for dark meat and 75 milligrams of sodium for white meat. By breaded deep fried chicken and two pieces can provide over a thousand milligrams of sodium. A frozen chicken meal also provides 1100 milligrams of sodium. This simple homemade chicken meal has about 500 milligrams of sodium. At number seven are salty snacks. This includes potato and corn chips popcorn, and pretzels. The amount of sodium can range from less than 200 milligrams for potato and corn chips to over 400 milligrams per ounce for pretzels. A six ounce potato has about 10 milligrams of sodium compared to about 1,000 milligrams of sodium for six ounces of fried potatoes. At number six is burrito and tacos or Mexican food in general. 
When you dine at a Mexican restaurant, you currently have no way of knowing how much sodium is in your meal. So-called healthy Mexican food can provide over a day's worth of sodium in just one meal. Coming in at number five is restaurant and prepared soups. The amount of sodium in one cup of soup can range between 400 to 1500 milligrams. One cup of homemade butternut squash soup has as little as 60 milligrams of sodium. One cup of homemade split pea or minestrone soup has about 250 milligrams of sodium. Prepared soups are so high in sodium, some manufacturers include the amount of potassium per serving. The sodium in two brands of chicken base ranges from 350 to 820 milligrams. At number four is cold cuts and processed meats. A two ounce serving has between 450 to 700 milligrams of sodium, but just one ounce of bacon, about two thick strips, has around 500 milligrams of sodium. At number three is sandwiches. A restaurant sandwich can easily provide over 3,000 milligrams of sodium. Every item in this one meal is high sodium. Even a homemade sandwich can provide a day's worth of sodium. Number two on our list is pizza, and Americans love pizza. The sodium in pizza comes from the crust, cheese, and prepared meats. This prepared pizza tries to hide total sodium by using a one-half pizza serving. One quarter of this chicken and spinach pizza has 640 milligrams of sodium. You may think you're getting less sodium until you compare serving weight versus serving size. Homemade pizzas can have over 50% less sodium. The number one source of sodium in the American diet is breads and rolls. This category includes biscuits, buns and rolls, crackers, naan, pita, pancakes, waffles, tortillas, and more. One slice of bread can have 150 milligrams of sodium or more. Just two slices of bread can provide between 200 to 450 milligrams of sodium. Make a sandwich with this roll and you start with 450 milligrams of sodium. One biscuit can provide over 500 milligrams of sodium. Two pancakes, almost 1400 milligrams of sodium. Homemade pancakes and eggs has less than 900 milligrams of sodium. The takeaways from this video are that an American diet can be a high sodium diet. 10 food types, all prepared foods, provide more than 40% of the added sodium. A high sodium diet can increase your risk of a heart attack or stroke, and you can significantly reduce the amount of sodium in your diet by replacing prepared foods with home cooked foods. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching.